Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Here we are again today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I lost weight by following a high protein diet. If you guys are new to my channel, I lost over 100 pounds on the ketogenic diet and then I got off of the ketogenic diet, I gained weight and I decided to go on a different type of fitness journey and I wanted a diet that was more sustainable. And this is where I came across following or eating high protein protein. I was able to lose 25 pounds in 30 days by eating this way and also by exercising and of course eating in a calorie deficit which is essential for weight loss. So I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks. We have three main different macronutrients that we can prioritize in a diet and these macronutrients are called fats, proteins, and carbs. And basically each macronutrient goes into a different category of food groups. For example, fats are things like saturated and unsaturated fats. And of course we have trans fat and everything, but I'm just gonna be talking about whole food for this example. And in regards to carbs, there are different types of carbs. We have whole grains, we have starches, and then we have protein. And you can get protein from a bunch of different sources. You can either get protein through supplements so you can literally drink protein shakes or eat protein bars, or you can eat any type of meat that has a higher percentage of protein, so like beef or any type of fish, salmon, or you can eat some type of plant-based protein such as beans or spinach and etc. The reason why I love following a high protein diet at the moment is because of its benefits and especially its benefits in regards to fitness and and more importantly, in regards to weight loss. One of the benefits of eating a high protein diet is you will feel fuller. And this is because protein takes a longer time to digest with inside of our systems. So if you eat a good amount of protein, you will feel fuller for longer, which could help with you maintaining a calorie deficit. And if you're someone like me who likes to intermittent fast, it is perfect for me to drink a protein shake when I break a fast that has all natural ingredients ingredients or if I'm just going to bed, eating a meal that has higher amounts of protein in it helps me feel fuller for longer and it helps me with intermittent fasting and not overeating. If you guys are interested in the types of meals that I actually eat while I'm trying to lose weight, I do have weight loss recipes down below. Another benefit to eating a high protein diet for my own personal experience is that it could help you with body recomposition or it could help you with muscle growth and muscle repair. So one of the reasons why I decided to go on a high protein diet was because I actually had an injury. I had an athletic injury within one of my legs. I tore my hamstrings and just not eating enough protein and just eating a lot of processed food wasn't helping me heal in any type of way. This is where I kind of experimented with actually going on a high protein diet and my body literally changed after this. In addition to that, I am physically stronger now just because I eat higher amounts of protein. Another benefit that I love in regards to eating a high protein diet is the volume that you can eat. So there's this thing called volume eating. Volume eating is basically where you eat a large amount of food. However, you eat less of the calories and you have to do kind of research on what foods you can eat large in volume that have fewer calories, but eating a high protein diet allows me to eat a large amount, but at the same time get a high percentage of protein and also be able to remain in the calorie deficit. And I make sure I have some carbs, but everything else is mostly low calorie, and this is super easy to do on a high protein diet. Whereas if you were following something like keto, the macronutrient you would need to prioritize would be fat, and fat has a lot of calories per gram to it. And another benefit to eating a high protein diet is that it is less restrictive. So there are diets that you can go on that exclude sugar and that exclude exclude carbs. When you're eating high protein, you could be vegan, you could be vegetarian, you could be a regular meat eater. What you really need to focus on is having healthy, clean food, whole food, and foods that have higher amounts of protein in them. This doesn't mean you have to stay away from sugar or you have to stay away from carbs. To be able to lose weight again, this is how I followed a high protein diet. Now I know everyone is going to be different in regards to the things that they want to eat. However, I'm just going to give you what 
what I've personally done. So I do not eat meat. Sometimes in occasions I'll eat things that have eggs in them, but for the most part I try to eat plant-based, vegan, or minimally vegetarian. Because I don't eat meat, I usually get a large percentage of the protein that I eat from a lot of plant-based sources of protein. So my number one plant-based source of protein is protein shakes. You can buy a bunch of different protein powders that are all natural, sugar-free, and plant-based, and that is basically what I do. While I'm working out, I'm usually fasted and I only drink something like black coffee, and then I come home and I break my fast with a protein shake, or if I don't do that, I will usually have a protein shake as my last meal of the day and this is one way that I can easily get like 30 grams of protein and in my protein shakes I usually add spinach and peanut butter so if a scoop of protein powder is about like 25 to 30 grams I'll add peanut butter and spinach and that will add about 10 more grams so every protein shake is at least 35 to 40 grams of protein I personally don't like to eat protein bars because they have a lot of calories and they're not large in volume whereas a shake Shake will fill up more volume in your stomach more to make you less hungry and you can also make it water-based to cut out some calories and to just make you hydrated but protein bars are also an option for me to get my protein in if you're following a high protein diet about 60% or higher is going to be coming from sources of protein so for me personally I like to eat at least 60 to 100 grams of protein every single day I don't have a set number I just just kind of eat until I'm full but I also make sure I maintain a calorie deficit so if one day it's 40 if the next day it's 80 then that is just what works for me what I really love about following a high protein diet is that it isn't as restrictive as most diets will be and you can eat a lot more things I allow myself to eat sugar while I am following a high protein diet and like I said carbs but I do stay away from certain types of foods so one thing that I try to stay away from just in general is highly processed or fried foods so I stay away from anything that's fried even if I'm eating tofu I try not to fry it same thing with something like potatoes I try to make sure that I eat actual potatoes or I cook them or air fry them I try to stay away from fried potatoes or french fries because those are processed the oil that these foods are made with has hundreds of calories in them so even though you're eating like a bag full of french fries it could still add up and my body just doesn't do well with things like that same thing goes with sugar if I want to eat something that has higher amounts of sugar in it I try to make sure that I combine it with protein so something that I enjoy are the complete cookies and I know they have about like 24 grams of sugar but I usually have that and it is because it has a high amount of protein inside of it and even though I'm eating sugar the protein content inside of it will allow me to stick to my macros and my diet but also allow me to eat something that I enjoy but it's not just empty calories because these cookies are plant-based and they are higher amounts of protein so I will feel full or at least satisfied to an extent when I eat it and also if I want to have sugar I usually have fruit too now I want to talk about how I exactly lost weight on a high protein diet and how eating this way really incorporated into my second or aka third weight loss journey and helps me get fit again so as I mentioned I had gained weight and I was looking for something that was more sustainable and I came across the high protein diet I went on a high protein diet because I had a physical goal I wanted to get stronger and I wanted to add strength and I knew eating no carbs at all and just not prioritizing protein would not help me with that physical goal and at the time I was eating very badly I was eating ice cream and like ice blends every single day I was eating a lot of junk food all day long and I was eating 
so many bad things because i have been working out for such a long time my body is accustomed to kind of what i do already so i had to do something to basically switch up my routine and make me stronger so the first thing that i did was put myself on a calorie deficit but i didn't have a strict calorie deficit and i still don't so i allowed myself to eat 1500 to 2000 calories a day and usually I'll eat more than 2,000 calories a day and this is because when I exercise I usually burn more than 500 calories a day so I don't want to eat too low another thing that I did to be able to lose weight this time around was intermittent fasting now if you guys are new to my channel you would know that I talk about intermittent fasting a lot and I consistently intermittent fast I have been for years and I absolutely love it but I do fluctuate my fasting hours and the methods that I fast for so some days I will eat two meals a day and like a protein shake and then sometimes I'll eat only one meal a day and like I said I do this because my body is so used to exercising at a certain intensity I exercise all the time and have been for years and I've lost a lot of weight so I kind of need to trick my body into doing new things in regards to exercising I exercise about twice a day at least for half of the week. So for about three to four days out of the week, I will have two workouts. And in addition to that, I sit in the sauna. So I burn a lot of calories when I am exercising, but I also mainly do this because I work for myself and I work from home. And because of this, I need to find ways to be active. So my first exercise, which is mainly just like cardio, is around 300 plus calories burned. And then I exercise exercise or I play like a sport in the evening slash nighttime and I do this for about two to three hours and I don't know how many calories I'm burning but just imagine exercising for about two hours more I'm assuming that I'll double the calories so it's probably over 700 calories that I burn just from exercising and I know that's a lot for most people but like I said the circumstance that I have is a little bit different than most I don't have a nine to five Lastly, I want to get into some cons about following a high protein diet if you're thinking about doing this for weight loss. So the first con is that you have the potential to gain weight and this is because you are changing the macros that you are eating. So if you are prioritizing protein, it is easier for you to build muscle and you may accidentally do it, especially if you don't know what you're doing when you're first trying to exercise. For me personally, when I first went on a high protein diet I was gaining weight and like I was getting stronger but it was contributing to my weight gain especially if I did not manage my other macros so if I was eating high amounts of protein but also eating all this processed food I was gaining weight and so you just want to be careful of that because you don't want to get bulky or you don't want to bulk accidentally. Another con that comes with following a high protein diet is that following a high protein diet is very expensive. I think out of all of the things that I pay for in regards to just like things that I need like food and water, I think protein is one of the things that I pay the most money for. Usually a bottle or like a container of protein powder, if you want a really good one that's like sugar free and has all of these nutrients, is minimum $25 to $30. And I usually go through that within two weeks because I drink a protein shake or two every single day. Along with any protein bars, along with anything else that you have, it is one of the most expensive things to get especially if you're someone like me who doesn't eat any meat and tries to stay away from dairy as much as possible there are cheaper alternatives to getting higher amounts of protein like you can just buy meat you can just get beans like a can of beans but for me specifically I have to get things that are more so on the plant-based side and because of this one item might be ten dollars the next might be thirty and it racks up over time and the last con in regards to eating a high protein diet is that your body composition may change so this could be a good thing or a bad thing basically what it means to change your body composition is to change the percentage of fat that you have in regards to the percentage of muscle that you have now this could be good because like who wouldn't 
you know want to look strong but some people don't some people just want to be thin some people just want to have fat loss some people don't want that and that is something that i didn't know when i started dieting in this manner my body composition has changed i like the way that i look personally but i definitely don't look like the way that i did a year ago so i just want you to keep that in mind if you are trying to follow this diet. If you guys are interested in exactly what I eat in a day to lose weight, I do have weight loss recipes down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.